Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and I'm, my name is Lockie Curry, and I'm addicted to cars in some ways. Now, I've done YouTube and a bunch of social medias before, but this is my new channel, and I want to base it off four-wheel driving. Now, you're probably wondering, I look young. Now, I'm 13, and I can't drive, obviously, but... I have driven a couple can ams and a trophy trucks and buggies and blah, blah, blah. But it mainly the content I'll be uploading is from the car that I am currently sitting in, which is our 2022 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Adventure. So basically, this car has been through a few places. It's mainly been sand driving at Bribe Island, Fraser. It's been to Morton. It's um been to Mount Mount Meats. Uh, it's been a fair few places. But in a few weeks, we're going to be taking this thing to the Glasshouse Mountains, some of the toughest four wheel driving in Australia. And this car is only like eight months old. It's not. It's we've only had it for eight months. Um. But it has had a fair few upgrades done to it. But first of all, I'm going to take you through the car and get you guys understanding of just how this car is just, I think, the best four-wheel drive you can buy on the market today. Well, factory. You obviously can buy like an 80 series Land Cruiser and then spend like another 80 grand putting an engine and jacking it up, putting diff locks and... All these different 35s, 38s, even 37s. But basically, this car comes stock. And I don't know how many... If you are American viewers, you'll know... And if you know go four-wheel driving, you'll know about the Rubicon Trail. That's where this car gets its name. This car stock can complete the Rubicon Trail easily. One of the only, only cars that come stock that can complete the Rubicon Trail. That's where it gets its name. G Gladiator Rubicon. Um... But this one, when we bought it, we wanted it to look mean and be tough. So we have the adventure package, the sport package, and another package which I forgot about. I think it's the off-road plus package, which gives you a couple little extra little bits and bobs. But um, I'm going to take you through the inside of the car, show you, show you guys around a bit, and then we're going to go to the outside, and I'll show you all the little bits and bobs that we mainly done to the car, which is mainly all on the outside. Um, I'll give you, like, a bit of an overview when we get out there. So this is the car. Now, sorry, I am filming on my phone, so it will make it a bit difficult, but I'll get, hopefully, some better footage soon. But this is the car here. Jeep Gladiator, I'll put on some lights, might make it a bit easier to see. There we go. This is the Jeep here, I'll put on 0 0.5 car. Oh, there we go, now you can see. So we have the Speedo here. Now the car's not on, I've just got it on the run mode. Oh, sure, I just dropped that. Um, we got it on run mode, so there is uh, off. On, over here, you can't really see because it's not all lit up. You got ACC, then run, and if you hold the brake and then push it while it's on run, it will start up the car. Um, as you can see there, press brake, then push to start. This thing only has 13,086Ks on it, so it's really new. But let's get started on some of the main features on the car. It's pretty basic, mainly, hello, I'm here. Um, but here, this is where the off-road package comes. You get this little... Um, little app thing here, which is comes normal in the car, but you get this little extra app off road pages. Um, but basically, once the car loads and connects to all the systems, and it loads here, it's getting on the terrain. Here we are. So, this is literally everything you need to know. That's not right, our oil needs to be changed. We're trying to get. Trying to find someone to do it, but I think we're, Dad and I are just going to do it ourselves. So yeah, battery, you know, trans temp, it's about 30 degrees out, 20, 29-ish. Drive chain, you can see here, I pop it into four-wheel, four-wheel auto, if I just let it reset itself. You can pop it. Here you got the 
all the bits and bobs. Um, realize it is solo axle front and rear, which what makes it some, which what, which, bleh, which what makes it really good. And one thing about this car that makes it such a good four wheel drive is that when you're going over obstacles, obviously you want all four wheels on the ground to get the most traction. So that's where you can disconnect the front sway bar by pressing this little button down here. And that basically dis disconnects the front and the rear sway bar. Basically, so, so then the suspension can travel at its full um, flex without having the sway bar interfering, which is one of the benefits of the having the Rubicon. Um, we can also see our picture roll, which is pretty accurate, I think. Um, right, so let's see what the Rubicon really offers. So if we, so mainly the Rubicon on the inside that you can see of, um, is when you go down here. So here you have the main thing that the Rubicon gives you. If I move all this out of the way, we have the, oh, we have the aux buttons. So you basically can connect a light bar and you can turn them on by pressing these buttons. You can have four accessories that you can turn on, like a winch you can hook up to these two in, out. You can have a light bar on the roof, light bar up the front. Um, you have off-road plus mode. That basically just um, makes the throttle response more responsive. So I've this connection, I showed you that before, but then the biggest thing. This thing comes stock with front and rear differential lockers. You don't find many cars that you can buy in Australia with front and rear diff lockers. And that makes this car, that's what makes it able to do so many things. And that's what the Rubicon gives you. Here on the transfer case, we can have, a two, we have two things um, that make this thing also super capable. Some four-wheel drives, like let's say the Hilux, when you put it in four-wheel low it, and you put differential lockers in it, it's good and all, but it doesn't have a centre lock. Basically... It's good not having the diffs, they, hold, they spin both wheels at the same speed. But if you don't have a centre lock, it makes that... Um, makes so that as soon as two, the, one of the front wheels gets pretty harshly stuck, the, the other wheel will stop spinning, the drive shaft will stop spinning, and the transfer case clutch will engage, basically meaning so the only drive is to the rear wheels. So, this car, well, I mean, a unless if you upgrade the transfer case, and a couple of the modern four-wheel drives do have it now, only in four-wheel low, which means when you go out in, like, sand driving, and you're doing 80 k's an hour through tough roads, and you need wheel speed, you need to put in, like, seven, six gear, just so that you get wheel speed, then you don't have any torque. So, that's where this car comes in. We have two-wheel high, which is economical, basically, Full wheel high auto basically means it's rear wheel drive mostly, but as soon as the front, as soon as the rear starts losing traction, front wheels will engage. Pull it over here. Four wheel high part time. That's when the center can lock it. So that's when the center is locked. Now that I, that's officially locked, front and rear drive shafts will be sitting at the same speed. The diffs aren't locked, but I can turn the diffs. Um, I can turn the diffs, um, I can turn the diffs on, I don't think you can actually, sway bar disconnection, I need to be in full wheel low, disconnect sway bar, engage, oh hang on, what does it say, alright, let's pop it down, oh. oh, need to have it running, damn, can't bring it any further down than that without putting it in neutral, I think. But yeah, there you go. Pop it back into two-wheel drive. Now, this thing has... The usual engine is a 3.6-litre V6, naturally aspirated, probably pushing 210, 230 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. And this thing, in, in low range... In gear one, we'll only do about 5 k's an hour at absolute maximum RPM, which is about 6,000 RPM. That's pr that's pretty low range. 
because it's designed for one thing and one thing only. Well, it can do multiple things, but the main reason why this thing was invented was for rock crawling. Well, that's why it has all these pitches, all the drive chain, the four-wheel low, that reduction gearing, the diff locks, the sway bar, the off-road plus, all the oxes, and all these metal bits and bobs. That's why it's so good, but it's also that's why it's for rock crawling. That's why it's all there, because this car is designed for rock crawling. But we've tuned this engine... You cannot have a Gladiator stock when you're off-roading it quite hard. So up the front, in there, we have the same engine, but tuned to 410 horsepower. This thing is not the quickest thing, yet again, reduction gearing and everything, so it's not the quickest off the line, but it has so much torque, it's crazy. Um, here you got the regular car reverse neutral drive manual, 8-speed automatic dual-clutch transmission, um, pretty, storage is pretty good. You got one compartment there, more down there. You know, you got your windows here. Smoker, I guess. We don't really use. We don't. No, no one in my family smokes. You got your media, tune browser, radio, volume, screen, which I'll get into more of that in a sec. But one thing I do want to talk about with this car. One of the key things with the Jeep is that you can take the roof off by doing that, 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 and that. That whole panel is officially, literally about, I can push that off, but I'm not going to because my door's closed and I could damage it. But basically, if I open my door, I could take that off pretty damn easily. And that's the joy of this car. But you can also do that to the doors. It's four bolts holding the doors in and then a strap there so it doesn't go flying out. And once you've disconnected that strap, the door comes right off. And you and then but for that you can't can't have too many electronics in the door. So the only electronics in the driver's door is the mirrors. The lock, oh, you can't really see that. In there, we have the little lock, unlock, and then you have the door handle with that. That's the only thing that it's electric in the front doors. It, and on the passenger, it's literally just a lock and unlock. That's, but the windows and everything are in the middle, so when you take the door off, these are still there. I don't, can't really put it down any windows from when the doors are off. Never mind. But you can do that with the same in the back. You can take all the roofs off, but you can also take the windscreen down as well. It's pretty dismantable, this car. I do have to say. Got your regular handbrake here. All right, let's get into the screen. But the first screen is this one here. Vehicle information, I like this. Got all of our temperatures. Do have to replace that oil. Battery voltage. You can go down. It's our off-road mode. Pitch and roll. Cruise control. Fuel. Fuel. And trip information. There you go. Top ready engine off. Radio. Messages. Screens it up. There you go. On the steering wheel, you have your basics. You have your cruise control on this side. I think asking the cars on this side. And you got all of that stuff there. Oh yeah, and you have your hang up and cool icons there. Um, okay. Let's get into the screen. First thing off, we can turn the screen off here. Tap the screen to turn it on. Got our um, crawl control here. We have our parking sensors off, hazards. We can see our traction control off, on, automatic turn off, off, on, mute. We can see our like our thingy that I don't know. All our climates there. Let's get into the screen. So first of all, over on the end here, you have your radio. Oh, sugar. What did I just press? Hang on. 
got your radios, all of that. And this thing has some of the best sound system. Yep. Free. And if you can save, it'll still give you 50 bucks when you switch to Glowbird. It's a win-win. I'll give you guys a version of the sound pretty, pretty soon. But basically... Um, once you got that, you got your climate, all, climate's all here, you can turn that on there, you got your controls, basic, you got your U apps, you can, got all of these bits down here, but like in more of apps, mirror dimmer, audio settings, I can turn up the bass and stuff, got the equalizer and you can turn up all your bases. Um, you got your navigation. It's pretty, pretty simple. You can change that. You got your phone. You got CarPlay. You got your settings in here. Pretty basic, but in the back, pretty much got um just the windows and air conditioning. It's very simple because yet again you can take the doors off. And it's been very simplified. Um, heated steering wheel as well. That's one of the main things about this car. But yeah, let's hop on the outside and take a little a little look to see what we're dealing with. All right, starting from the back, we have a, this is the Gladiator, so it is the Ute version. Pretty simple. Um, that's one of our mods there. Lots of tray space. Ugh. We have 35 inch tires. Maxis, um, what are they? Razors, all terrains, we have our, um, <laughs> special stuff I'll talk about later. You've got your spare back down in there, all that sort of stuff. Also down in here, you've got your solid axle there, you've got your sway bar link there. Um, it's a pretty nice looking vehicle. 35 inches there. You've got your reflectors there, which I, uh, you can only see on camera. I can't see that. Got your Rubicon logo there. And then you got the um, front bumper. Really nice, proper full metal Rubicon. Basically the same on the other side. You can see here the trail rated badge. But let's, so you, one thing about this car you might realize is how it's sitting a lot higher and a lot more level than a regular Gladiator. That's because we've got a three inch lift. We know we've got four inch, three inch. I think. Reservoir suspension, Dobinsons, Dobinsons. Disc, you can see the, disc, the sway bar goes in there. Goes the coil shock. You can see the lift there. High and low speed compression rebound on there as well. Um, in here, you can also see the sway bar disconnection me mechanism. If I move, if I angle that right, you can see how the sway bar goes in there, exits there, in there, two dog teeth come together to connect it. And then if we even look on the rear as well, you can see the coil suspension upgrade and our piggyback reservoir suspension. Here we are here, we have the drive shaft there. Wait, yeah, that's the drive shaft. You got the exhaust there, you got the solid axle on the rear. And I can bring this around. We have the solid axle up the front. I think that's a transfer case. Yes, that's, it's a transfer case indeed. You got the engine all the way up there. All these different bits. Now I'm gonna get out of here before I literally get <laughs> and show you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys the front axle a wee bit more. There you go. Let's open up the hood now. Hood's another really easy thing about this car. Actually, no, actually, yeah. oh, another video I'll show you the engine. We'll do an engine reveal. But as you can see, another one of the modifications that we have done. Usually there's a large antenna. Put a 50 cal in there. I have a, I have a massive hand. That's pretty big. Um, if you guys have a Jeep, that's my hand compared to the mirror. 
yeah it's about the same height as the mirror but there you go guys that is the jeep gladiator 2022 one of the best cars in my opinion i'll show you guys some riding clips driving clips i don't have too many hardcore ones i don't have many off-roading clips with the uh new suspension on it actually um my main full-wheel drive clip with it with doing some tough crawling was um with the old suspension which is a fox suspension which is actually really good but um i'll um in another video guys i'll show you just how well this car can really do it all thank you all for watching be sure to subscribe um for more jeep content and i'll see you in another video peace